Hi, my name is Rosemary and I'm a hoarder. <laughs> Printmaking allows me to get away with being a hoarder because all the things that I hoard, I print. I, I love finding things. I, my inspiration comes from finding stuff um, on the beach or, or around the grounds of the property here. I, I find all kinds of things, um, plastics and waste materials and, and natural materials and birds nests, which are my most current work. Uh, all of these things I find and I print them so it's a it's my my pro my practice is led by by the um materials that i find the process of printmaking and and the type of printmaking that i do doesn't use a traditional plate there's no drawing there's no traditional plate the nests particularly um are printed unaltered and the the ink is just worked into these fragile constructions of whatever material i'm using and quite often that means that the material will be disintegrating during the process and that's part of the, the record of that gradual disintegration is, is part of my work. My practice is materials based and process led so the, the ideas and the research develops from the finding and from the print process itself. Uh, everything is printed directly from waste materials um, and much of those I find on the beach at Otaki. The work in the book, Mr Chen's Big Journey, was was um, from printed material I made, and, and also the, the, the whole idea came from a, a, an old shoe that I found on the beach that was very old, and, and it had um, little bamboo nails holding what was left of it anyway together. So the, the covers for the book that are in the proof book um, are actually made from the the heels of that shoe that I found once it was you know, disinte uh, taken apart and, and um, I had these layers of, of leather and that, that formed the cover for that book. I'm drawn to printmaking and, and the print process because it puts a little bit of distance between your concept and, and the reality of what happens but that's that, that sort of happy accident aspect or that dis the process of discovery is part of the attraction of printmaking. The, the, the best bit is possibly the unveiling as it comes through the press and then you lift the paper off, and it's always a surprise in some way, even if it's something you've printed quite a few times, it's still always a bit of a surprise, which is sometimes a good surprise, and sometimes not, but <laughs> mostly it's a good surprise. Do a course or a, a workshop. The Print Council has summer schools, Inverlochy has classes, it will save you a lot of time and frustration and tears to have a professional help right from the start. There's, there's so many little tips and techniques that make such a big difference to the outcome. Um, there are videos online of course, but at a class it's more fun you know, you, you know, you, with a group of, group of like-minded people, so you'll have a ball, so, so yeah, go, go and make it easy on yourself and start with a class. <laughs>